Hello, Super Traders, and welcome to our London Session News Flash. In this session, we'll summarize the most recent movements in all of the major markets. We'll discuss today's hottest assets, and then we'll review today's important economic events. Let's begin. Starting with the U.S. market. Poor U.S. monthly manufacturing and industrial production prints are causing U.S. stocks to gain, while the U.S. dollar is losing sharply and is down for the third consecutive day. S&P 500 futures are currently up by 2 points to 2,102, and Greenback futures are consolidating at 98.58. The Bank of Canada announced yesterday that it will hold interest rates at their current level of 0.75%, as the economy is growing at its previously projected rate. This hawkish tone helped the Canadian dollar to gain sharply, now up 0.12% to 0.8131 in the Asian market. After a slow start this week caused by negative prints from the Chinese market, the Nikkei 225 index was able to recover today, with futures currently up 10.48 points to 19,879.48. The Japanese yen had been gaining for four days, but futures are currently down 0.40% to 0.8382. New Zealand GDP prints coming in better than last month and positive business manufacturing index readings are helping the New Zealand dollar to gain, now up 0.17% to 0.7562. Earlier this morning, we learned of multiple positive prints from Australia, including employment change and unemployment rate prints that came in better than expected. The Australian dollar is making sharp gains, with futures up 0.74% to 0.7714. And in the European market, European Central Bank President Mario Draghi announced yesterday that the ECB will hold interest rates at 0.05% and will continue with their quantitative easing plan, which are helping euro stocks and the currency to strengthen. The euro stocks 50 is currently up 19.02 points to 3,803.55. Euro futures are currently down 0.6% to 1.0687. Going over commodities highlights. Following yesterday's decreased U.S. inventories readings, crude oil appreciated sharply to above $56, but futures are down slightly today by 0.12% to $56.32 the barrel. As the U.S. dollar continues to depreciate for the third consecutive day, gold futures are up by 0.15% to 1,203.10. And here are today's important economic events. At 12.30 p.m. GMT, U.S. buildings permits and unemployment claims prints are expected out. And at 2 p.m. GMT, the U.S. Philly Fed manufacturing prints will be released. This was Super Trader TV's London Session News Flash, taking a short break. When we come back, we'll go over today's upcoming events and trading opportunities. Stay tuned.